Feel like hey, no, not that one. Oh wow! What you got there? White mango. How is it? It's good. It's like a milky mango. What you got there, lady? Fresh coconut, right off the truck. How much was it? 10,000. So good. Good morning from Ubud, Bali. Tony and I got up really early this morning. We went to the morning market, which opens very early, I'm guessing around 5.30, maybe even 5 a.m. Um, anyways, we got up and made our way down there by 6 a.m. And by that time, it was bustling and there were so many locals and farmers who were selling a lot of their fresh produce. Um, so we're gonna show you what we got. So most of this fruit we got from the same vendor. So we got passion fruit, we got some dragon fruit. Not sure if this is red or white, I guess we'll see a white mango and mango steen. From a different vendor, we got these oranges and I also picked up a coconut for breakfast and Tony got some vegetarian food um, from a vendor as well. So the one thing that I was really curious about that I had never heard of um, until coming back to Bali this time around uh, was this white mango. I'll put the name of it right here. Yeah, so I was really curious about this. Um, I saw it on some other YouTube videos and I thought, what? I've never heard of this white mango. And Tony has never heard of it either. So we decided to go and look for it. It was really easy to find. Um, There's plenty of vendors selling it. And so the woman that we bought it from, she pretty much cut some off for us to try. And uh, it tastes like, like a milky mango, like very, very ripe mango. It is white and creamy, so this one will be good for tomorrow. And then we'll sort of see where we feel about it after we've had a whole one to ourselves. We've cut up some of the passion fruit. It's very vibrant on the outside, yellow. This is different from the variety that we used to uh, have in Thailand, which was more of a maroonish color, brownish. Or, or even in Vietnam. Uh, and then the inside is white. It's like a translucent white. Uh, you can see the seeds, they're, they're black. So it doesn't smell like the citrusy kind that we would get in, in Thailand. It's a little more mild. So let's try this. So it's pretty clear looking. Look at that goo. Looks like fish eggs. Wow, it's not sour at all. It tastes like vanilla. Wow. That's interesting. It tastes like cake. Mmm. This is the hot food that I got. 
looks like it's um, sort of like porridge at the bottom and then it's topped with I forget the name of it but this is a uh, like a mix of vegetables that includes bean sprouts uh, I think some uh, other like greens maybe some water spinach and then some beans right here uh, and then there's some sambal so some like spice will be uh, there's some spiciness to it a boiled soy, soy sauce egg I think and then uh, looks like some other spices here like some combination of black pepper but let's give it a shot so we're gonna try just the rice itself mmm oh yeah it's super creamy has a slight saltiness to it but the the sambal has sort of infused it so it, it does have a kick done that was delicious okay so today's video was a short one we hope you enjoyed the morning market and seeing all the delicious fruits and produce that yes. you can see there uh, we've already gotten into the passion fruit <laughs> yeah it is so good <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll different. get into the mango tomorrow and the other items today but if you've watched any of our past videos, you know that I love going to the markets. It's a great way to see more of the local life as well as get a benchmark on pricing for various things such yeah. as fruits and vegetables. Um, most of the things that we saw were about half the cost of what it is in the grocery store. Or what other vendors sell during the day yeah. when all tourists come out on the main streets. Yeah, yeah that's what we've noticed. So, we've yeah. noticed so if that. you're here, if you're here long term, or I mean even short term and you have and a place with a kitchen maybe. yeah or you just love fruits and vegetables <laughs> check out the morning market because it's a great place to get some good deals but when we'll the video here I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.